I thought I saw you yesterday, but I didn't stop, cause you was walking the opposite way. I guess I could've shouted out your name, but even if it was you, I don't know what I would say. We could sit and reminisce about the old school, maybe share a cigarette because we both- Hello, and welcome to Wife Swap. On today's episode, we're going back in time to the Revolutionary War. Oh. <laughs> Contestant one is Abigail Adams. She's a strong advocate of women's rights, adores her husband, and often writes letters to him when he's away. Contestant 2 is Molly Pitcher. She's a brave and devoted wife who models her bravery on the battlefield during the Revolutionary War. John Adams had already proven himself to be a patriotic man before the Revolution even began. He strongly opposed the Stamp Act and Parliament in general. He also served as a lawyer during the Boston Massacre. John was often away on business and was rarely ever home. He was not even there to witness his own children's birth. This always saddened Abigail, but she considered it her patriotic sacrifice. John and Abigail had four children, a girl named Abigail, and three boys named John Quincy, Charles, and Thomas. John and Abigail were always writing letters to each other. John kept Abigail up to date on the happenings at the Continental Congress and of his diplomatic impressions of Europe, and Abigail wrote to John about their family, farm, and hometown of Boston. Molly Pitcher, also known as Mary Ludwig Hayes McCauley, married her husband, William Hayes, at the age of 13. William enlisted in the Revolutionary War, and Molly joined her husband as a camp follower during this time. Her love for her husband will soon show when faced with a difficult situation on the battlefield. to each other, so I guess you'll have to do that to me, I guess. And then, tend to the farm, okay? That means chickens, the cattle, the roosters, all, all of it. Feed, water, okay? And watch the kids, all right? If I come back and they're fat, it's your head, okay? And do a favor for me, watch the maid. I'm not sure if I trust her, okay? And regarding my special chest, if you touch it, I swear to God, you won't see another day. Abigail, I have one rule and one rule only. Never, ever forget to bring me my picture. I suppose I can handle that. Good. You'll be a fine woman. Take the baseline. Oh, it's so cold. Uh-huh. Oh, gross. Yeah. This is garbage. Uh-huh. What's garbage? This food. I just deal with it. Oh, 
Here's your picture, William. Thanks, man. I'm tired. I'm ready for that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, servant. Are you going to write father letters? Well, I suppose I should do that I was on his list. What does your mother usually write your father about? She writes about dentures, so, so he doesn't forget them, of course. She writes about the farm, tells them about our animals, how they're doing. And she writes about women's rights. Women's rights? All right, I think I covered all the basics. What do you think? You're stupid. No! John Adams will go on to be the first vice president and second president of the United States. His son, John Quincy Adams, will follow in his father's footsteps and eventually serve as president as well. He was truly a great American figure that was responsible for shaping our history. Abigail Adams will become known as a strong advocate for women's rights in America's early years. The letters written between John and Abigail will serve as an accurate source of history for future generations. Molly Pitcher will become known by all for her bravery and sacrifice on the battlefield. She will be a beacon of courage for all women helping to make a difference in the world. Her devotion to her husband and to her country show through, show through the actions she took to defend both. And that's all for today's episode of Revolutionary Wife Swap. Please tune in next week when we experience wife swapping during World War II. Ziggy Z! <laughs> Marshall, don't look at my quarter collection. <laughs> it's a quarter. Okay, it's still a special coin. Obviously, those special are the special coin. Look, Marshall, obviously, these are the special ones, and then these are the state quarters. What's down there? Well, I have all There's the Oh, it's the list of all the quarters. Because I catalog them. You know what? I now it's not going to shut. Yeah, I have that too. Then I took it out and bought like Well, I stores. have a Madeline <laughs> music box, so... I really don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> <laughs>